Hey guys, I'm back with another haul for you. This one's actually kind of big. Um, my husband and I went up to Connecticut to the Goodwill Outlets again, the Pay by the Pound. Um, while we were there, we also went to Ikea. I always stop in Walmart. Um, so I'm going to start with Ikea because I only picked up a few things there. I'm actually going to turn the camera. I'm going to show you some curtains I picked up. They were in the As Is section. They're called the Blaving. And they're normally 40. They were marked down to 27 because they weren't in their packaging. And these are super cute. I was obsessed with these for fall. They just have kind of like a botanical and uh, some ant like butterflies, bugs, sea creatures. And they're like a brown and beige color. And they, they're not a cotton. They're more like almost like a linen type feel. So they look super cute. And then while I have you up here, I'm going to show you also, I picked up this printing tray in the bins at Goodwill, um, pay by the pound. I don't know the exact weight of it. It's probably like, I don't know, I'd say like three pounds. So I probably paid like $3 for that. And for right now, I just have it hung on the wall because I thought the rustic wood was kind of cool looking. And now I'll show you the rest of the things I picked up at Ikea. I picked up a clock for the kitchen because, like I said, I've been working on kind of like redoing it um, just the way it looks. So I picked up this clock. It's called the Pug, P-U-G-G. -G. Um, it was $10.99, I think, but I liked it because it has like that industrial kind of schoolhouse feel. And I also picked up some kitchen towels. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I washed them and they came out really wrinkly. Um, but they all they came in a pack together. And I think it was it's a pack of four. I've got the wrapper here for them too. And they're called the Ellie if you're interested. Some of these things you can buy online. Probably some you have to go to the store. I know that a lot of Ikea items have crazy shipping though. Um, so anyways, there's a stripe. A uh, checkered one. One with a stripe around the outside and then like a wider stripe. So I got these, I thought maybe pillowcases, because um, I've kind of been into that green sack thing, this way I can change them out. Or I might just use them as ki kitchen towels, I haven't decided yet. And then the last thing I picked up at Ikea are these shelves, and this was what I was waiting for to finish my whole kitchen redo. Um, these are called the Lac Shelf. And they're just a floating shelf. Um, you just put anchors in the wall. And then they just slide on so there's no brackets or anything. It's a nice clean look. I was going to get the shelf unit where there was like actually a back and then the shelves on it, but it wouldn't have fit in the car. Um, so I got these instead. And these, I think, are $6.99 a piece. I got six new ones, and then I found one in the as-is room that was marked down to like $4 because it didn't have a wrapper, like a plastic wrapper on an instruction manual. Um, so I saved a little bit of money on the one of them. And that is it for Ikea. I also have, let's see, two things from Target. I have been looking on Instagram and people are posting pictures of burlap pumpkins they're getting in the dollar spot. So I went to check. Ours didn't have any burlap ones, but I did get a chicken wire one. And that was $3. And then back in like the dorm room section, I picked up this ampersand, and it's got the marquee um, lights in it. It was marked down to 748, and then it just has batteries on the back. And what I like about it is that it runs on a timer. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's got an on, off, and timer. So right now I have it on timer, and it comes on for four hours, stays off for 20, so I don't have to remember to turn it on at night. It just does its own thing, and that makes it super easy. And then at Walmart, I just picked up a branch, a floral branch, and this is a dogwood branch. And I thought that the uh, the branch part of this actually looks super realistic, so I was really excited about that. And I paid $8 for this, so actually it was not cheap. Um, and right now, I'm going to use this one in the early fall decorations, which I plan on doing that video actually right after this one, just a little tour of how I used all these fall things. Um, and then I think maybe as it gets into October, a little bit into the cooler months, because it's still like 90 here, I'm going to change it out maybe to like forsythias, the ones with the yellow flowers. Um, okay, and then I'm just going to go through, I guess, the stuff I picked up in Goodwill. 
I'm not going to show the clothes in this video, so maybe I'll do another video for that. I haven't decided yet. I picked up some American Girl DVDs, and these are either going to be for my niece or to sell on eBay. Um, all three of them are in here, and they're like brand new condition. This next thing I picked up, I think I'm going to give it to my mother maybe, or maybe my niece, I don't know. It's a snowman kit, just adds snow, and then inside the box it's got all the pieces where once you build the snowman, you'd put them in, like you've got the nose, you've got the pipe, buttons, and it's got like the eyes, it's got little ones for the mouth, and then it's got a heart. And I'd probably throw in like a scarf or something to go with it too. Okay, and then let's see, next I have a scarf that I picked up, and it's just got like ship wheels and then some nautical type stuff around the outside of it. And again, I thought maybe a pillow cover out of this. I picked up a pillow um, to use as an insert in another pillow, and it's from the, brown, uh, the brand... Home Trends. Uh, I think it's Walmart. So it's just a plain zebra and brown pillow. Uh, at Savers, I picked up this IKEA candlestick. It was $1.99. Um, I started peeling it apart. I'm going to use it as a pedestal to hold pumpkins. So I actually started peeling this off because I could use it either way depending on the size of the pumpkin. And then I have a picture on my phone of another thing I picked up at Savers, which I already took to my desk at work. And this was 99 cents. I picked up that uh, mustard container. And it's just a ceramic mustard container. And then the picture frame in the background also came from the Goodwill outlets. And then if you saw in that picture frame, I had a Pantone card. And I found these all in the bottom of one bin. I had to dig through and do like a lot of like digging and putting them together. But most of them actually turned out to be in pretty good shape. And they're actually postcards. Um, each one has like a Pantone color and then the back is actually just a postcard. But I just got them to frame and use as like little color accents. And there's a whole assortment of them. I was super excited to find these. And then I found another set of postcards too. And this box is actually cardboard, but it has a really nice, almost like wood look to it. And the postcards inside of here is designed to look like a card catalog with the little, uh, like alphabetical dividers. And these cards, the back looks like a library card, and the front one actually looks like you pulled it out of a card catalog with like stamps and notes all over it. So I thought that was like a really cute note card set, and then it comes with the envelopes even for mailing it. And they look like the little paper inserts they put in the books. And I looked these up online, and they go for around like $20 a set. I don't imagine that I have a full set just because of the way, you know, you're digging through bins. I know I don't have a full set of the Pantones, and I'm almost positive there's not a full set here. I didn't count them. I just thought they were cute. Um, I picked up a copper lobster and I actually got this I thought maybe I could resell it but then I realized they're not going for that much so I'm actually just gonna keep it and on Labor Day next year we're, we go to like a lobster party now um, so I'm gonna use it and make jello and go with the theme of the party and then I also found two toys for my dogs from the bins. And these are Hallmark dolls. Um, I couldn't leave them behind because I thought they were so cute. And then my dogs ended up really liking them. And this one is actually Mark Twain. I don't know if you can read the tag. Mark Twain doll toy. And they're made by Hallmark cards. So I have Mark Twain. And then this one is Clara Barton. And they actually really enjoyed them, so that was good. I picked up a bag of Pottery Barn Kids blocks, and I picked these up because I wanted to spell out words for like holidays and stuff. Um, and some of them have cute pictures as well, but like, you know, maybe at Christmas spell out like Mary or something. And then like each one has different pictures or sayings, like acorn, and there's a picture of an acorn. 
So I could use these in so many different little like setups. And these actually I probably paid, I don't know, I would say these are close to five pounds. So I probably paid like five dollars for that set, but still from Pottery Burn, I think that's a good deal. Um, and then I'm actually getting to the end here. I have become obsessed with linens lately. You probably noticed I'm picking up things constantly to make like pillowcases and stuff. So here's another one that I picked up for pillowcases. Um, it's just like a white coverlet with like pom-pom dots on it. And I was originally excited I was going to use it just as a blanket because I thought it was good, but somebody else had already cut some fabric off of it. So I got it regardless because I thought it would make so, such cute pillowcases. And then there's fringe on it too if you wanted to try and work that in. I am not gonna. I'm just going to use the, the pom-pom part. I picked up another blanket. And this one is like a white flannel with like a blue ticking stripe down it. And then the more I looked at this thing, I'm thinking it might be a hospital blanket. Which I don't know if that's weird or not. I just liked the colors of it. So, I mean, now I have to think about it a little before I use it because, like, I don't want to say I'm superstitious, but I also, I don't know, I just, it could be weird. So, I'll, I'll think about that. Um, and then the last thing that I have here to show you um, actually has, like, a little bit of a story behind it. It's a couch cushion, and you can see, like, it actually came out of someone's couch. So, I don't really know how one random mismatched couch cushion ended up in a Goodwill bin. Um, but I got it because even though we have a couch and a love seat in the living room, I always sit on the floor because my dog is getting older and she has back issues so she can't go on the furniture. And I am like the overprotective dog mom instead of sitting on the couch on my own. I would rather be on the floor with them. And sometimes it's like it's the floor is hard and sometimes you get sore. Um, so my husband saw that, and he's like, let's just get the couch cushion, um, you know, you can use it or you can cover it with something, make it a project. So we picked up the couch cushion, and when I don't use it, I can just stuff it underneath. But it actually is really soft and comfortable, I hate to admit it. Um, so anyways, that was my Goodwill haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will be filming a fall tour and show you how I use all the stuff in the kitchen and little, like, updates around the house. Thanks for watching.